Not sure what to do with your large, empty walls? Filling a large wall can be intimidating. You could hang some art, or you can use the entire wall as your canvas. I show you how to liven your home with wall coverings on today's SoFlo Home Project. Welcome to SoFlo Home Project, I'm Elena Capra. Filling up large blank walls with artwork can be difficult. That's why I love the idea of turning it into a feature wall with wallpaper. This way the entire wall becomes a work of art. Today we will show you DIY tips on how to hang wallpaper, the use of acoustical wall panels to create a cozy environment, and how artists are using wallpaper as canvas for murals and much, much more. Hi. I'm Diane Feibelman, and I'm one of the owners of Jeffrey Michaels. We are strictly to the trade, meaning that our customers are architects, our builders, our designers. Jeffrey Michaels is like a museum of fabrics and wall coverings. That's our specialty. Hi, Di. Hi, doll. How you doing? Good. Welcome to SoFlo Home Project. Thank you. So Di, you guys have an amazing selection of, of wallpaper, but not just wallpaper, because there's a lot of materials that could be wall coverings. So Correct. The new terminology, instead of wallpaper, because most wall coverings are now made leather, metal, metallics, velvet, silk. Today, we're gonna to show you many applications for the walls. Let's get lost in it. <laughs> that sounds Let's awesome. Let's go. Too. Let's go take a look at what you got. So, Di, we are in just one aisle of the many wallpaper wings as these sample displays are called. Now, there's so many great things here, so let's dive in and show our viewers what you got. All right, so this is a tropical vinyl that's made from Arte, and today the trend is vinyl. Yes, Okay. great. You can do vinyl, which is wipeable, it's durable. This is a wood bark, so if you have an environment and you want it to be more earthy, you would use a product like this. And Di, you're saying vinyl is so great for rooms like bathrooms and high traffic areas because it's easy to clean? Absolutely. And a lot of people are going to say, oh my God, this is corduroy. Oh, wow. It's a velvet <laughs> corduroy. And if you want to take a studio room and make it where the sound doesn't bounce off the walls, it'll absorb the sound because it's a textile. So, any, so you could have fabrics on the wall put up as a Correct. wallpaper. Correct. You can have fabrics. Now, this is a wood veneer like you would use on the floor. The wood is very interesting because we've seen the trend of wood on porcelain tile and now Correct. wood on wall coverings. This is the newest thing which I brought back from Paris. That it looks was like denim. What is it? So it is great. blue jeans that has been quilted. So you have soundproofing, you have blue jeans, your casuals, the kids will love it. So Di, grass cloth is a really popular wall covering. I feel like grass cloth has been around uh, for so long and it stays, I think it stays popular because it's changed so much. There's so many iterations of it. Correct. Grass today is really, really the thing. It's just like if you're gonna have something happen in pocketbooks or in fashion, well, grass is the fashion for wallpaper. So we see metallic grass cloths, we see different colors, and also vinyl wall covering that looks like grass cloth, Correct. right? Correct. There's a wall covering just about for any room in the house, and it's just, I feel like the possibilities are limitless because They're it's endless. instant art for your walls. Coming up on SoFlo Home Project, we get DIY wallpaper installation tips from the experts. Tacker Auto with FHIA, and we're gonna help this family get the bugs outside of their home by changing out these old jealousy style windows on today's Sofla Home Project.
Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra and we're continuing our day at Jeffrey Michaels and we're joined by Fabian Grenot. Hello Elena, how are you? I'm good Fabian, thanks for joining us today and uh, you're going to show our viewers some things about wallpaper installation. Yes I am. Okay, so let's start first with when someone's thinking about putting wallpaper up, what do they look for? What should the wall look like? Well, first, uh, the, the, the impurities of uh, the wall, imperfections and um, holes in the wall. These are some of the things that has to be, you know, fixed first. Also, one of the number one thing that, that has to be done, if there's green mold or black mold, that has to be taken care of, especially down here in South Florida, we have that problem. So you want to make sure there's nothing like that on your walls if you're maybe even removing old paper and see that underneath. Yes. Got to get that taken care of first. Yes. Okay, now. There's this something called a liner, which is this right here. Okay. They would use a liner that would remove some of the imperfections in the wall, cover the holes, that would um, take care of, of the okay. problem. So like yes. if, they, if sometimes you could use like spackle, but if that's not enough, this is our next best thing? That's your next best thing. And then the wallpaper would come directly onto that. Keep in mind though, this has to be laid on the wall prior 24 hours before the wallpaper goes to this liner right here. So do you want to show us how you get started with this? Sure, no right. problem. And the liner is something that helps with the imperfections, but is it necessary for every wallpaper installation? You don't always need, need it, but just in case you decide to change the wallpaper with a new wallpaper, it is easier to remove the existing wallpaper. So now when you're installing the liner, Fabian, if it's not installed properly, what could happen? <laughs> Down the line, you, you're going to get yourself in a lot of problems because there's going to be lumps or bumps, even bubbles going to seep through that little indentation there and has the wallpaper rise up. So it would and really... that you don't want. It would defeat the purpose of putting the liner if you don't install it right. Yes. Okay, so proper insulation is always key. Always the key. <laughs> All right, well, we're, we're going to finish up the liner because we've got a very cool wallpaper to show you and some great insulation tips. But first, let's see what Tac Granada from FHIA has for us today. I'm Tac Granada with FHIA, and today we're at a home where the family had to change out their windows. Not only did they want to provide better hurricane protection for this hurricane season, but they wanted to make their home more energy efficiency and asked if we could please do something to stop the bugs from coming into the home where the windows weren't sealed properly. So I think we're going to be able to accomplish all that today. Let's take a look at how everything's going. Probably the most common window that we're placing here in South Florida is the old aluminum jealousy windows. For this homeowner, it was a problem because not only did it not provide them hurricane protection or energy efficiency, but they weren't sealing well at all. They were getting a lot of bugs into the home and they really wanted to change it out. They decided to go with a great product from Custom Window Systems. This is going to give them the hurricane protection they were looking for. They also chose to order the window with Solar Max Glass technology, which is going to reflect all the heat away from the home. They're going to love the decisions that they made. Perfect timing on the installation because this is a really important part of the process and something that we discuss often is when we remove the existing windows from the home, there's really nothing in here to fasten the new windows into. So we talk a lot about installing new wood buck frames and these wood bucks are going to go into this opening right now so that when we install the new frame, it'll go into the wood buck and then into the concrete block. So this will be a real secure opening to keep the family safe during the storm. Another really good installation. Everything went perfectly and the family's going to love the added hurricane protection they're going to have for this hurricane season. They're also going to love how comfortable the home's going to be and it's not going to be such a bad thing to save a lot of money on their utility bills. They'll recognize that right away. And the biggest thing for them when we met them was we got to do something to stop the bugs from coming into the house. Well, we solved that problem by windows that are really sealed properly and they're going to certainly be happy not having those bugs as their guests anymore. So everything turned out perfectly here. Back to you, Elena. Thanks, Tad. So, Fabian, we finished the yes, liner. Elena. I thought it would be fun to show our viewers before we reveal the paper we've chosen. Yes. Just talk a little bit about when you're getting ready to install a wall covering. So, what are some things that people need to think about before they even start cutting and getting it put up? Yes. One of the first things that you have to keep in mind is that you always order uh, enough wallpaper to do the job. 
You know, you're not going to be left short of, of, of the wallpaper and then I'll say, oh my God, so I need more wallpaper. No and one uh, wants to be in that Very spot. important is writing down the dialogue number. So that will always be listed on the label. Always on the label, always on the bottom of each wallpaper and also the um, square yardage of how much is in the roll. And now instructions. How important are following the instructions since each paper is different? They are wallpapers that are already pre-pasted, they are wallpapers that you have to use the adhesive. So each, so each wall covering you're using will have its own separate set of yes. instructions. and all the instructions are right there on the label. Okay. And it is very important whether you're doing it yourself or having an That's installer awesome. do it, instructions really are key, Professional, yes. Right? yes. All right, so let's show our viewers what we've chosen because I think it's something that's very on trend. Yes. And perfect for South Florida. Yes. I don't not only love this because it matches what I'm wearing, it's also our SoFlo home project colors of purple and green and it's fun, tropical. It's Caribbean, tropical. It's awesome. And yes, this has some texture to it as well. When you're putting off a paper with a pattern, you can't just line up the very next strip of paper because no, no, no. then the pattern won't map. On the roll, it gives you all the descriptions of what the pattern matches and how and to get it lines installed, up. where it lines up, and voila. And this is what I love about wallpaper, instant change to the wall. Fantastic. Coming up next, walls come to life with the 3D texture of acoustical panels. money going down the drain, I've got some quick tips that'll help you save money and conserve water at the same time. We're all spending a lot more time at home these days, and many of us have taken advantage of this time to work on home projects. Well, one thing you may not have considered is updating your faucet, shower head, and toilet. The Miami-Dade Water and Sewer Department is making it easier than ever to make these updates by offering rebates. Homeowners have the option of exchanging their old shower heads for low flow ones for free at one of the water and sewer department customer service locations or by purchasing one to get a rebate of up to $25 per shower head. If your home was built prior to 1996, you could also upgrade to a low flow toilet and qualify for a $50 rebate per toilet. If you're not planning on remodeling your bathroom, you should at least check for toilet leaks. This is the most common source of high water bills. Did you know that a leaky toilet can waste up to 200 gallons of water per day? To check, simply put a couple of drops of food dye in your toilet tank. Then, after 20 minutes, if the bowl has colored water, you have a leak. Making these upgrades can save over 20,000 gallons of water per year, as well as 10% on your water heating cost. Saving some money and helping the environment has never been so easy. For more information on rebates and water conservation tips, Go to miamidade.gov forward slash water conservation. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra and we're continuing our day checking out all of the cool innovations and in wall covering at the Jeffrey Michael showroom here in Hollywood. And we are here with Michael Feivelman. Nice to see you, Elena. Good to see you, Michael. Welcome to SoFlo Home Project. Thank you. And I thought our viewers would love to see all of the cool things in wall covering, and that includes 3D. So this is the latest technology of wall covering, and it's fully washable. It's 3D, and it has an acoustical value. And you can tell that they come not only in different colors, but many different patterns. Typically, when people use this sort of wall covering, they don't do an entire room in it. More of an accent. They'll do an accent wall, or they'll do a ceiling. And with, with the advent of these home theaters, where people are very anxious to have the acoustical value yes. of watching in their home, these things offer that sort of a service. So this is great because if you had an acoustical panel that you wanted to add or in a theater, sometimes we would make fabric panels. Right. But this sort of takes one step out of the process. Correct. This is almost looks like a hard surface, right? It looks right. like a tile, but it, it is, comes in a roll. It is wall covering, just as a typical wall covering would come in a roll in a box. The other cool thing is that you will not see a seam anywhere on here. 
This has oh, been great. engineered so that each panel will match up to the other. That's a great thing because I think when it comes to wall covering, wall paper, seams are always the one thing that I have found working in this business that clients tend to worry about, will I see a seam? So a lot of the times viewers ask us like, what do we put on like this big empty wall? Mm -hmm. and, and sometimes finding art and stuff like that can be challenging, but with something that has depth like this, you, you don't, don't need, need anything. Art. So now you've got a couple more things to now, show our viewers. We have something brand new that we're very excited about. Tell us about what these are. So this is a company out of Italy and what they do is they take leather and suede and wrap them on panels. And it is available in all different kinds of shapes. And this too has acoustical value. Great. So they will create the wall for us. They, the designer comes to us and actually tells us what the wall size so you is. Need the dimensions the, ready. The, correct. You give us the dimensions of the wall, you tell us which shapes you want to use. You can tell on this one some of them are flat and then some of them are padded. Designers can create all different types of visuals from this. And when working with a product like this, you need the dimensions of the accent wall or area you'll be using. Correct. And then you'll get the pieces and it kind of comes together like a puzzle and in installation. That's exactly what it is, it is a puzzle. <laughs> Next on SoFlow Home Project, there's no need for artwork when you can turn your wall into a work of art. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra and we're continuing our tour of the beautiful Jeffrey Michaels showroom here in Hollywood with Di Feibelman, otherwise known as Di Fi. Di, wallpaper can really be art sometimes and what you're about to show us is beyond that. I'm gonna show you what is called murals and murals are something that we're using in hotels, we're using in the bedrooms, we're using in homes. They're used all over. They start out, okay, wow. looking like flowers. An area environment takes your measurement of the wall and they make this piece of artwork to size. So custom made to fit whatever Correct. the accent wall is. Now let's see what else you've got from All here. Right. Cause I so, know murals can have instant impact. So we have this. This is artwork that is done by a famous artist. And the artist has given area environments the okay to use this strictly for wallpaper. So what's interesting about this is that certain wall coverings can make your wall become art, but this Correct. truly is putting art on your walls made Perfect. by artists from around you the world. You got it. L.A. Tees is out of Paris, and they have products from Africa. They have products from uh, Vietnam. They have cut squares out of the coconut, and the inside of the coconut is where they add color and paint to it. The real shells are off the beaches of Vietnam. And the way that you see them on the paper, they haven't been colored or altered. They're all in their natural state. The embossed vinyl is basically new from LATs where they've used three or four different colorations and they've embossed it into a vinyl wall covering. So it looks very dimensional because of the process that they used. So Di, this was such a treat and I hope our viewers at home really enjoyed seeing all of the beautiful inspirational wall coverings and thank you again for sharing all of your thank knowledge. Thank you, thank you. It was a pleasure. And now let's see what Hunter Frankie from Silklo Health has for us tomorrow. Hey Hunter, what's going on? Hey Elena, tomorrow we're going for a walk in the park and running through some CDC guidelines you may have heard of and others you may not have. And we answer some questions like, do I wear a mask? When do I wear a mask? What kind of mask do I wear? Plus, we head to a restaurant helping you stay healthy throughout quarantine. Morgan has a workout that you can do at home or in the gym and we have some guidelines for you heading back out there safely. It's all tomorrow right here on Local 10 at 12.30. Thanks Hunter, we'll definitely be watching and to our viewers at home, 
We hope that you enjoyed this little peek into amazing world of wallpaper. And we hope to see you again next week for another episode of Soflo Home Project, only on Local 10. And remember, there's no place like home. Soflo Home. If you missed any part of this episode, or if you're looking for more design inspiration, make sure to check out all episodes online at SoFloHomeProject.com. You could also submit your own design disasters, and you never know, we could be knocking on your door to help. And don't forget to follow us on social media, on Facebook and Instagram. Next week on SoFlo Home Project, we tour a multifamily luxury residence that was once a hospital. We take a look at how adaptive architecture can give new life, an old building.